Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 170. All right. So the includes method determines if an array contains an element and will return either true or false. So here's an example of the includes syntax, pardon me, the includes method syntax. So we've got uh, const numbers array equals this array right here with one through five as the uh, elements. Then we've got const number equals three. So now we've got this if statement here, if numbers array dot includes number, we're gonna say console.log uh, the number is in the array, right? So let's go over to the MDM site to uh, solidify this a little bit. Uh, so let's read about this. So the includes method of array instances determines whether an array includes a certain value among its entries. Returning true or false is appropriate. Pretty much what the uh, what the example said or what the lesson said. So we've got this uh, uh, demo right here. And so we're having const array one equals one, two, three inside of this array. And when we say console.log, array one dot includes two, the output should be true, right? And so uh, now we've got this other array pets with cat, dog, and bat in them as the uh, elements. And when we do a console.log pets dot includes cat, it should give us true. But if we do console.log pets dot includes at, even though there's an at here and an at here, the fact that the words are cat and bat means that it's going to give us a false because that's not exactly what it, we're looking for. So let's run the thing and we can see it. that happens just like that. So let's come back over here. And after our for loop, we're gonna add an if statement to check if the guess is in the numbers array. So we can use the includes method to check if the array contains the guess. All right. So just like it said right here, that's well, actually, that's what we're gonna do without the console.log. So we'll come over here and we'll say if, and we'll say if numbers, right? So this array right here, but the but after it's been made using the while loop, if numbers dot includes dot, oh yeah, there we go. Dot includes, that's not it, includes guess, we're going to do something, right? So basically either a two or eight is going to come into here and uh, we're going to check if one of the, you know, one of the things in the array, one of the elements in the array is either a two or an eight, depending on what we guess, right? And so that's pretty much it. Let's uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 171 and we'll see you next time.